This video involves working with equipment with potentially dangerous voltages inside. A mistake could damage the equipment or you. So if you don't know what you're doing or aren't completely willing to take responsibility for your own safety, leave this to a professional, don't try this at home, and consider this video to be for entertainment purposes only. Ow! Starting a new project here at the house, uh, replacing my thermostats with uh, smart thermostats. And uh, unfortunately it's not quite as simple as uh, um, just removing the old thermostat and hooking the new one up to the same wires, then there's some wiring work that's going to have to be done. Um, the uh, existing thermostats use two wires, and uh, the new one needs three, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, and and for, luckily, there are th uh, it is a three-wire cable that's running between the, the boiler, or actually this is the, the controller for the boiler, uh, and the thermostat. So I'm just going to draw one here, the thermostat. Um, so what we've got is, is a three-wire cable. Uh, there's red. There's white. Uh, and there's a green cable, which is currently not hooked up to anything on either side. So this is red, white, and green. Uh, so the way this is working is that the thermostat, the existing thermostats are really simple. They're basically just a switch. It's a temperature controlled switch. Um, so it's like a, a little switch like that. And that's all there is to it. So it doesn't matter which way these two wires are connected, the red and the white, because connecting, uh, all that happens is that one of these has power. The red is supposed to have 24 volts AC. And the white is what controls the heat. Um, so all you have to do is, is, is connect the 24 volt supply to the white wire that controls the heat, and it comes on for that zone. Uh, but because this is just a simple switch, it doesn't matter which way it is. Connecting white to red is the same as connecting red to white. doesn't matter. Um, however, the smart thermostat wants, uh, wants three connectors. It wants the red, it wants white, and it wants uh, what's supposed to be brown, but I only have green. Uh, and this is supposed to be 24 volts. This is the heat control, and this is common. And the reason for this is that the um, the thermostat needs power to power itself. So it it draw it needs uh, the 24 volt, uh, and it needs a common to reference that to. And then it switches the red onto the uh, the white when it wants to turn on the heat. Uh, and if you have you know cooling systems, then there are additional wires that would be involved. But this is just a heat only system. So uh, for this system, it does matter which way you get the red and the white because you have to have the uh, it, it matters which one is the switch wire and which one is the power supply. And I believe that my system has been wired up with red and white switched. Now I could just wire them backwards at the th at the thermostats as well, but I'd rather do it right and not confuse the next person who has to work on the system. Um, you know, don't leave a mess for the next guy uh, or girl. Uh, so uh, first thing I need to do is check that these. Uh, these are wired correctly or not. And then the second thing I'll need to do is uh, uh, connect the, the grounds to a common point in the uh, controller. So here's the uh, or part of the system. Uh, we've got the controller over here. And uh, this controls the boiler, which is down out of frame there. And it also controls these uh, four circulator pumps. So the way this works is that the furnace is set up so it has one on-off control. You could use it with just like one thermostat. Um, but uh, this uh, zone switching relay um, works in conjunction with the circulators to provide four different sort of heat outputs from this one boiler. So uh, zone one goes uh, up and back to the, uh, the heat exchanger and uh, the pump for the, uh, the hot water in the house. And these three are uh, three different zones of heat. So this has its own thermostat that's controlled by the, uh, the hot water system. We don't need to mess with that. It's these three we're, we're trying to, uh, these three circuits or loops of hot water that we're trying to uh, control. So what happens is that this uh, switching relay gets thermostat inputs, gets four different thermostat inputs, one from the, the hot water heater and three from, uh, two, three, and four come from regular uh, thermostats. <clears throat> and if any of those it goes on, then it enables, it sends an output down to the boiler to turn it on. And it also enables the, uh, the circulating pump for whichever zones are active. And it can be more than one at a time. So all the, the control of everything is in here. 
Okay, so here's the inside of the controller box, and this is a little awkward. It's kind of a reach frame because it's behind the uh, the boiler, so kind of got to reach through. But basically, here's the uh, uh, the transformer that generates the 24 volts AC. Uh, here's the output. There's a term two terminal little connector here uh, with the output from the transformer. The bottom one is the common. We'll need that for the uh, the new wires we're adding. Here are the uh, the wires coming in from the thermostats. These brown wires. You can see the green uh, green lead is just kind of wrapped around out of the way. And then here, there's a terminal strip for the four thermostat inputs. Uh, and you can see on, uh, let's see, on this one here, you can see uh, the red is on the left and the white is on the right on these. And I believe that's backwards, uh, although it seemed kind of like conflicting information in the manual when I looked at it, but uh, I'm just gonna check it and make sure it's actually supposed to be that way. So red and white, make sure they're not supposed to be the other way around. And the way I can do that is, uh, measuring the red wire to the common should give me 24 volts AC, and the white should give me nothing. If it's reversed, then it'll be the other way around. Okay, I've got the power back uh, turned back on, so uh, I'm going to try to very carefully probe the, uh, the, the thermostat inputs and see what's uh, happening. So I've got the, uh, the black lead connected up to the common terminal. I'm going to try to step around here and uh, very carefully uh, hold this up. Okay. Let's see, is that in frame, I hope? Oops. Leads are all tangled up. All right, so this is the white, which should be no voltage. And it has voltage. And this is the red, which should be should be the voltage. And this is, uh, oh, so that's no voltage. Okay, so these are indeed backwards. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take off and, and switch all of these, which is gonna be a real pain with the way that they're located here. I think I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, I've got things switched now so that red is in the right, white in the left should be correct. Uh, I'm going to go turn the power on and make sure that uh, things are still working as is. Okay, and you can hear that the uh, furnace has come on now and that uh, two lights are lit. Zones two and three are now on. Uh, I'm going to go well, let's, I'll try turning on the uh, thermostat for zone four. Make sure that comes on. All right, well, I've run around and, and tested all the thermostats. I've turned them up and down and verified that the zones come on as expected. I put them back where they're supposed to be, uh, and uh, the house is heating back up, as you can hear. The boiler is running. It's quite noisy. So uh, while I've got things in a working state and while the house is heating back up, I'm going to leave well enough alone for now and uh, call this part one done. So part two, I'll hook up the common wire and we'll go from there. Okay, you can see that zone one, which is the hot water, has now also come on. Uh, I did reverse those wires so it would be consistent with the other ones. Uh, again, you know, it wouldn't really matter for this, but I wanted them all to be consistent so the next person who looks at this isn't confused. Uh, so I think we're all good.